Okay, so next we're going to do, um, there are two exercises we're going to do. There are several different reasons to use the phrasal verb make up. In this video, I'll show you some examples of how you can use this important phrasal verb. Use make up when a person tells a story, which is actually a lie of some kind. He made up a story about his past. He lied about his background. He made up a story about his past. He lied about his background. What he said was not true. She's making that up. She's not telling the truth. She's making it up. She claims to be a famous influencer. She's just making that up. When correcting a problem, a person makes a mistake and has to make up for it. Maria wasn't in school yesterday. She skipped school to go hiking with a friend. That was the wrong thing to do. She needs to make up her assignment. This would be an assignment that she missed. When you make something up, you correct a mistake. How can I make this up to you? How can I fix this problem? If you're late for an appointment, or if you miss a test, then you might have to make it up. Sometimes the mistake is in the form of time that is lost. We need to make up for lost time. This happens when people travel. There's a need to make up for that time to somehow regain the time. To regain time, you can drive faster. We got a late start. Now I'm trying to make up for lost time. Resume a relationship after a fight. Two people have a fight and they make up. They got into an argument. He wants to make up with her. She doesn't want to make up with him. Makeup is used for parts of something. Whether it's a small part or a large part, things are made up of different parts. Our planet is mostly made up of water. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. It's made up of two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. Makeup is used for a very specific reason when it comes to making decisions. A person makes up his or her mind. I can't make up my mind. Which size should I get? I can't make up my mind. I can't decide what to do. Or if you want somebody to make a decision, then just say, please make up your mind. In this position, you have to have a possessive adjective for the noun mind. 
he made up his mind. Make sure the subject matches the possessive adjective in front of the word mind. I made up my mind. You made up your mind. He made up his mind. She made up her mind. With the plural, we, we made up our minds. Usually there's a S there. Or you could use they. They made up their minds. 